If you want to play your modular in sync with other instruments, or if you want to make your modular synth do stuff over time on its own, you need clock signals. A clock signal is usually a gate or trigger that repeats at a set frequency, allowing your modular synth to tell time. Clock CV signals can be generated in various ways. Your MIDI to CV interface might convert external MIDI clock to clock CV. You could use special clock CV generator modules, or even just a simple square wave LFO or VCO. There are also the Expert Sleepers modules, which will let your digital audio workstation software communicate clock CV and other signals with your modular. Once you have a clock signal going into your modular, you can do lots of things with it. A good place to start is to divide the incoming clock signal to get multiple clock signals running in sync at different speeds. If you want to trigger drums, for example, you might want a bass drum every 4 beats, but a hi-hat on every beat. To do that, you will need a clock divider module, which usually has one input and several outputs, which output a high signal at a different division of the incoming clock speed. There are also clock multiplier modules, which will give you faster clocks than your original one. After you have a bunch of clock signals, the next step could be to hook up a sequencer. A sequencer, at its most basic level, will cycle through or switch between variable output signals at every clock pulse. Like this you can create melodies, rhythmic gates or triggers, or other effects. There are many sequencers out there, from finely controllable ones to very random ones. In fact, a clock divider itself can be considered a sequencer as well. For drum sequencing or rhythmic triggering of envelopes, you want a gate or trigger sequencer, which usually outputs pulses at a fixed voltage level. For melodies or other effects that require varying voltage levels, you want a CV sequencer, which outputs a continuous but variable voltage level. Let's quickly look at the reset input, which is found on many sequencers. When the reset input receives a high signal, it will start the sequencer from the beginning again. This is useful, for example, when you want the sequencer to start together with an external instrument, or if you want to decrease the amount of steps after which the sequencer starts from the beginning again. Conclusion. Clock signals are gates or triggers that repeat at a set frequency. You can generate a clock in many different ways, for example with a square wave LFO. A clock divider creates a number of slower clocks from an incoming clock signal. Gate or trigger sequences output pulses at a fixed level, and CV sequences output a continuous but variable signal. Sending a high signal to a reset input will start the sequencer from the beginning. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing and see you next time.